Labor MP Trevor Mallard has been confirmed as the Speaker of the House as MPs were officially sworn in today. The 53rd Parliament was formally opened by the Royal Commissioners this morning. Mr Mallard was nominated unchallenged, but MPs across the House had words of advice and some requests for him. Here's political reporter Yvette McCullough with all the pomp and ceremony. After a prolonged election campaign and the formation of the government, the 53rd Parliament is now in session. National held a caucus meeting this morning. Its MPs were amped for the first day. It's like the first day of school really, isn't it? Always excitement. Good, love the dream. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Three commissioners sent on behalf of the Governor-General made their way from the Supreme Court to Parliament. Your Majesty's Commissioners, approach. Please take your seats. After declaring the Parliament open, the Clerk of the House was empowered to swear in the MPs. Kitty Lindsay Allen. In alphabetical order, MPs came up to swear either an oath or an affirmation. To save time, some MPs came up in pairs. I told Michael McClay swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to her But reading at the same time, proving a challenge for some. According to law, so help me God. And successes according to law, so help me God. Swearing in is necessary to give MPs the ability to speak in the chamber and vote. They were straight on to their first vote of the term, selecting the Speaker of the House. I nominate the Right Honourable Trevor Mallard for the office of Speaker. Throughout the swearing-in ceremony, Trevor Mallard was sat at the back of the chamber with a dodgy light bulb flashing on and off above him, almost as if to say, pick me, pick me. There being no further nominations, the Right Honourable Trevor Mallard is declared elected Speaker. Traditionally, those who nominated the Speaker are meant to grab them and drag them up to the chair. Uh, members will see that, as with last time, I wasn't prepared to uh, start uh, my term as Speaker uh, with a breach of privilege by pretending reluctance. Mr Mallard thanked MPs for their support and promised to help the opposition hold the government to account. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern congratulated Mr Mallard and thanked him for the significant changes he made last term. In some ways it has been in small acts. I will forever remember after the 15th of March and you chose to begin it with a prayer delivered by a member of the Muslim community. National leader Judith Collins had this good-natured advice for him. Just occasionally a little bit of humour every now and again would help alleviate a bit of the tension. And might I suggest a little bit more of that little cunning smile that you have there would be excellent. Greens co-leader James Shaw had a personal plea. Uh, if you are looking at further reforms, I wonder if we could take a look at the rule that requires gentlemen to wear ties. And ex-Deputy Leader Brooke Van Valden had a request for more accommodating sitting hours. Such as for our member of Northland, so that he can fly to Auckland, drive three hours, get home at a reasonable time to milk his cows bright and early in the morning. Tomorrow marks the state opening of the Parliament, with the Governor-General Dame Patsy Reddy delivering the speech from the throne. And then the 53rd Parliament will officially get down to business. From Parliament for Checkpoint, Yvette McCullough.